talk about than My Bloody Valentine, which came out in 1987. And that movie was pretty damn freaky because for one thing, there's a couple of scenes in the fucking mine and like, I always see movies, like I never see movies where you're trapped in a mine or a cave that just, I especially feel like more anxiety from it because dance down there, they blew up that part of the mine shaft, well that part of the mine. There was only one survivor and he resorted to cannibalism, went insane, killed some people, and like they don't host anymore because the guy sends some frets and is like, if you uh, host this thing, then I'm going to kill a heck of a lot of people. Shit out of me. He put... The killer put a human heart in a box and sent it, I think, to one of the teachers or something. And I remember he opened the box and there it was. And it just... That really scared the shit out of me. I was like... I mean, I guess I, it scared me, but also, like, disturbed me a lot more. Because it's just, yeah, fucking sick thing to do for, like, someone even, you know, in a movie. And it, antagonist to just take out someone's fucking heart. I mean, it's ironic, obviously, because Valentine's Day, the heart's the iconic symbol uh, of love, romance, whatever you call it. Just the unrealistic looking heart. <laughs> I mean, if they actually showed a... Like, pictures of what a heart actually looked like on a Valentine's Day card. I'm pretty sure people would be less thrilled about receiving it. Because, like, damn. I noticed, like, some people, if they had a picture of a real heart, I mean, they'd be fine with it. But, you know, just the tradition of unrealistic heart. It looks like a butt, kind of. Like, on Instagram, the heart. and Yeah. Sorry, I'm letting a little talk. I guess some of you adults might not, if you're watching this, might not understand it. You probably do. But you're like, nah. Leave it to the young people. Now, I see a lot, just can I see a lot of adults on Instagram. By adults, I mean people in their 40s. <laughs> okay, anyways, anywho, I get picked off one by one. And eventually, of course, they go into the mine. Because why not go into the place where you probably shouldn't go. Actually, I think they party down there, that's why. Of course, go to a place where people were killed and eaten 20 fucking years ago. Yeah, good job. Really ironic. It's like, why would you have a party in a mine? I mean, that just, that's just fucking terrifying. I mean, in my opinion, just being below ground, like, seriously. It's just, yeah. And, of course, the adults aren't going to say it was the guy. I mean, they're just, they're going, they cover it up. Eventually, after a few years, they're like, oh, shit, we can't hide this anymore. People are starting to get suspicious. So, basically, they just, yep. 
apparently he escapes. That's the fucked up part. I know I just skipped right tending, but long story short, they kind of battle it out. Something. And it was just... Basically, they find out that the miner <sighs> um, apparently it's like wasn't Harry Warden after all. It was the son of one of the supervisors, and he saw Harry Warden killing his father, which of course. Drove him insane. Basically, uh, Harry Warren died a few years earlier. It was like a plot twist. Like, you thought the whole time that it was Harry Warren, the guy from 20 years ago who killed people and was already cannibalism. But no. Apparently, it was one of the younger guys. And yet, they really... Really, and the movie with a happy note, not. I mean, the killer escapes for goodness sakes, running off into the mines, singing that creepy ass song. I mean, horror movies, not a horror movie unless it has either iconic music in the background or just chants. Like the Friday the 13th one. I mean, especially if. It shows little kids singing the song. It makes it even more fucking creepy. Because let's be honest. Kids can be very creepy. Especially like hearing them sing like creepy verses of songs. I mean that terrifies me more than anything. Not dolls. Come get in this video. But yeah. Sorry I just had to do it close to Halloween. I mean I mean, why did I say Halloween? I got Halloween stuck in my head. Fuck because of that music. Just never mind. Alright. I'm going to see you guys on Monday, and I hope you have a Halloween that's and as, I mean, why am I saying Halloween? Oh my god. I hope you guys have a Valentine's Day that is not as shitty and gruesome as the movie. Alright? Goodbye.